Hi, this is Carlton Cullens, and welcome to the Blue Sky Strong Box. Hey, this is Carlton, and this week I want to talk about pulling exercises. I'm going to give you a few exercises to kind of give you ideas of what I'm talking about. But I just want to talk about the problems that happen when you have a workout routine that, that lacks balance in the overall exercise selection. The most common problem is not enough pulling exercises. I've been training for quite a while now and I've been working out for over 20 some odd years and it's inevitable that I see and I look at people's workout routines whether it be the gym or whatever people tell me about them and they have way too many pushing exercises and not enough pulling exercises. That goes for the hamstrings not pulling enough, the glutes not activating enough, but particularly today I want to talk about upper body pulling. A lot of guys particularly are very guilty of this, and I was too when I was a spring chicken, uh, of doing way too many bench presses and push-ups and overhead presses and stuff like that to work out the mirror muscles of the body, the ones you can see, the chest, shoulders, stuff like that that maybe the... Uh, maybe somebody else finds attractive, you're working out these things and you create an imbalance because you're not doing enough pulling exercises for the, body, for the, the back of your body. And you can get away with that when you're young, but when you get to be a little older, uh, problems can arise. And if you develop serious compensation patterns, you could very much lead to a, it very much leads to a lot of injury uh, if you're not careful. I'm 35 years old and I, I definitely have hurt my shoulders some uh, over the years. I've spent the last like five, eight years trying to rehab and get caught back up from what the things I did wrong when back when I was, you know, spring chicken. So I definitely want to save anybody from doing that. This goes for women, goes for anybody's routine. So basically, pushing exercises break down into a vertical push uh, where you're going horizontal to the body, perpendicular to the body, uh, and that's like bench presses, push-ups, things like that. And then you've got vertical presses where you're going overhead. If you've got either one of those type of exercises in your routine, you need to balance it out with a, with a complementary pulling exercise to match that. So if you've got a horizontal push, you need to have a horizontal pull where you're pulling, pulling weight perpendicular to your body and you're bringing your scapula together behind. You also need to have a vertical pull or a vertical pull down or pull up or whatever. So pulling up and down vertical and pulling horizontal to the body. These are two very, very important things. And I can't say them enough. If you if you bench press 300 pounds, you should be able to pull 300 pounds of weight with a supinated pull up for at least five reps. So don't kid yourself. You need to have a balance, and most people don't have a balance. And work on that. Look at your routine. I'm gonna give you a few exercises today to kind of show you what I'm talking about. There's a lot of different things you can do at home or in a gym or whatever. Uh, first thing, if you're at home and you've got some tubing bands, the easiest thing you can do is. You stand together and just do pulling. Just holding two bands and just pulling horizontal to the body. Bringing your shoulder blades together in the back, sticking your chest out. But that's the most important thing is to get those, those shoulder blades activated. So you've got that one. You can do it home. If you're at a gym, you've got these. You've got to grip and then you can sit down or whatever. Pull into the body. Same thing. Don't let your body pull forward. Just squeezing your shoulder blades together. That one's really, really simple. Uh, another really easy one to do is to take a bar and a rack or wherever, a smith machine, you can use whatever, and, and do pulling exercises. Perpendicular to the body, I mean, yeah, perpendicular to the body. Very simple, very effective. Just body weight alone works great. You also can take a barbell, obviously, and do nice straight back, and do bent over rows. Old school, but great exercise. You can also take a dumbbell, and do pulling this way. So there's a lot of different, those are all horizontal pulls. You can also do, this is more of a rotator cuff kind of injury prevention or injury rehab exercise, but you can take a band and do face pulls. So a lot of horizontal pulling, but you want to pull. You need balance in your pull. So I would just pick any one of those exercises for a horizontal pull. Vertical pulling, we all know of, you know, we got things. You might not have rings at the house, but you can do pull-ups. So pull-ups are great. You can get whatever grip. If you have a barbell uh, or you know, you're at a pull-up bar, you can get a wide grip, close grip, supinated grip, medium grip, alternating grip, whatever you want to do. You can do anything. If you have any kind of bar pulling exercises, 
You can also put your feet on the bench if you can't do a pull up and pull it like that. You can pull out wide, you can pull out face to you, any which way but loose basically. If you don't have any of that, what I do with a lot of my clients is you can lean, kind of push your head towards the, the fulcrum, wherever the, the bands are coming from, and pull elbows up. And that will somewhat simulate a vertical pull. But you got to keep your elbows high and don't let your arms dip down like that. you got to keep them up straight like this, nice and line with the body. But those last few I showed you, those were vertical pulls. You're pulling basically in line with the body. You've got to have one a horizontal pull and one pulling exercise, vertical pulling exercise in each, in each of your routines at least once a week. It's very, very important. Try that this week. It's, uh, it's over a lot of stuff. Some of that might be a little bit more advanced for some people, but ask me questions if you need to. That's my tips for this week. Uh, work hard, and I'll see you next week. Bye.